furnace blazing at 1200 degrees. This is Cast Foundry in Dublin's Liberties where all star awards are being made. First, sculptor Jarlath Daly moulds a model using just wax and a hot knife. The wax figure is packed in fine sand to turn it into a mould and then molten bronze is poured in. Daly has been making the prestigious GAA Awards since 1995 with just a short two year break and each all star is an individual work of art. The next step sees the bronze figure polished and sanded. Then it's fired with a chemical wash to give it its golden brown colour. I would have started my drawings for this year's All Stars in June and working through the summer and working on different things like uh, sanding and their different technicians would take over on the uh, welding and I'm working on other projects so it's very hard to quantify but I'd say if you started from scratch and you had the facility of the foundry you could turn out a pair of All Stars hurlers and footballers with the Opal logo in about a week. The final touch sees the artist engrave his name on each of the 30 statues, ready to be presented to the best hurlers and footballers at Friday night ceremony. Mostly positive feedback. These are nice and heavy, they can keep doors closed and keep doors open.